All right, let's discuss this week of games and rank the teams. So looking at the games, uh, I'd say the best one was the Ravens and Bengals. Kind of expected it to be. Uh, you very we've had, actually had very few uh, times where Lamar and Joe Burrow have actually been. You know, usually one's injured, so it's it's rare to see them participate in the game. I'd have to see how many, but I want to say this is like the third matchup they've had, uh, despite being divisional rivals. But uh, this one did not disappoint. As long as you like offense, it was definitely the game of the week. Um, and it makes me uh, feel more confident back when I said that the, uh, the AFC Championship game would be these two teams. I just didn't know who would host it. Um, I don't think that's quite the case given the uh, the slow start for the Bengals, but it's nice seeing them uh, come out swinging. And despite the loss with the Bengals, I'm curious where they go here because they lost um, a 10-point lead. Despite losing their offensive coordinator, it feels like it's really their defense that's been struggling. So I am curious to see where Cincinnati goes. Uh, but the other games, they were really good this week. We had a lot of them. A lot almost went into overtime. Uh, we had the Giants and Seahawks. Uh, I'd say somehow turned out to be the second best game of the week. No one expected that. Uh, then Cowboys and Steelers. It was a bit more of a defense-heavy game, but it was a, a close Sunday night matchup. Uh, Colts and Jaguars, a nice divisional game. Uh, Joe Flacco really kept the Colts in it, and the Jags finally got their win. Uh, the Bills and Texans was a close, close game. I feel like that probably should have been Sunday night, but... It's all right. The the Cowboys and Steelers at least didn't disappoint. Uh, what else we got? The Bucks and Falcons. With, we actually had a good Thursday night game for once. Uh, and then the Cardinals and the 49ers. Um, a bit hard for me to root for, given they're my division rivals, but they, uh, they put up a good show. Uh, I would say the least fun games to watch this week, the ones you could stay away from, we had the Chiefs and uh, Saints Monday night, not... Not a great matchup, but it did go at least pretty close until the fourth quarter. Then the the, the Chiefs broke away because uh, Derek Carr got injured. Uh, Packers Rams, another game that was close until the fourth, and then it, it was just a very low scoring game. Same with the uh, uh, the Dolphins and the Patriots, uh, the the Raiders and Broncos, close until the fourth. Definitely the worst games of the week, though. We had the Jets and Vikings in London. The Jets did not show up. Uh, now they're blaming Salah and firing him. I feel like uh, it's definitely the offense that is uh, in question. But anyway, then we got the Browns and Commanders, very one-sided, like the best team in the league versus one of the worst team in the league. And the Panthers and Bears. Um, yeah, that was just a bad game. <laughs> Looking at the teams, uh, let's rank them. I got the Panthers back on bottom. The Bears just made a mess of them, so... Welcome back to 32, Carolina. 31, I have the Browns. Uh, definitely on a downwards trajectory. I could easily see them overtake the Panthers as the worst team this year. Uh, 30, we got the Patriots. They're on that uh, slow decline. Very rough loss to the Dolphins. Uh, 29, I got the Dolphins. They're also very bad. The only reason I have them higher is because they beat the Patriots. And also, if Tua comes back, I think this team will be a lot better. But without Tua, it shows that this team just can't do anything. At 28, I got the Rams. And 27, the Raiders. Two teams that have been on the decline as well. The Raiders, I don't know what to make of. They just they either look like a 13 or 14th best team or they look like one of the worst. It's, it just depends on the week. And it shows Minshew had like the best game ever in that first quarter and then just fell apart in the second and third that they benched him. Uh, but anyway, 26, I got the Eagles coming off a bye. They just, uh, it's about where I left them before the bye. 25, the Titans, they're a little lower despite the bye, but just other teams played better. 24, I got the Cowboys, and 23, I got the Jets. Two teams just on the decline despite getting a win in Dallas. Um, just not convincing that these guys are any good. 22, I got the Cardinals on the up after a good win against the Niners. 21, I got the Bills. Uh, and 20, the Seahawks, two teams that have lost two in a row now. A little worried about these teams. Hopefully they can bounce back against their division rivals. Uh, Seahawks will play the Niners this Thursday night. And the Bills will play the Jets on Monday night. Um, I think that... Uh, 
both the Seahawks and the Bills can get a win and go back up on the list. Number 19, I have the Chargers, a small drop, but uh, just they're on by just better teams this week. 18, the 49ers. Um, I just I don't think they're a very good team right now, and I would not be surprised if the Seahawks beat them. They definitely need CMC back. Uh, 16, the Jaguars. 17, the Bengals. Two teams that uh, got a... Well, the Bengals got a close loss, and the Jaguars got a close win. But with how many points they put up on their offense, I want to put them a little higher. Uh, and the Jaguars are in London, so they should get, like, two easy wins and go up to, like, what, 3-3. Three and three. No, I know they have four losses, so they go 3-4. and four, So I, I still don't think the Jaguars have a bright future this year, but they'll definitely win their London, London game, just as they always do. At uh, 15, I got the Colts, a uh, small drop, but... I am encouraged uh, after Joe Flacco's performance that they can maintain a top half performance. 14, the Packers, no chains. 13, the Steelers, drop them a little bit after a close loss to Dallas. But I think Justin Fields looked real good, and I'm convinced that he can uh, keep winning games for, for Pittsburgh. 12, the Giants, it's probably too high, but they got a good win against Seattle, I have to admit it, so I'm just going to put them... Not in the top 10, but close to it for now, and we'll see how high they get. At 11, I got the Texans. I can't put them in the top 10 after how they almost lost to Indiana, but uh, they're still a very good team that I'm sure will be back soon. Number 10, I got the Buccaneers and 9, the Falcons. I feel like they're very evenly matched, very close game this Thursday. I think the the only reason I have the Falcons one above them is because they got that win, but I wouldn't be more surprised if the Bucks end up uh, overtaking them later this year. Uh, number eight, the Broncos. Kind of the same boat as the Giants. They're probably too high, but I feel like how Bo Nix is playing right now, they got three wins in a row. So uh, with a winning record, they got they deserve to be this high. We'll see how they play against, uh, against New Orleans, the old Sean Payton rematch. Uh, seven, the Chiefs, and six, the Saints. And I know people are going to be mad to have the Saints higher, but I feel like if Derek Carr hadn't been injured... They only needed like a field goal to win it, and they just they they couldn't quite do it in the fourth quarter. And the Chiefs broke away and ended up with like a ten point, thirteen point victory. But it was real close at the start of the fourth. And I feel with how the Saints played Week One and Two, I'm not willing to give up on these guys. Meanwhile, the Chiefs are winning in very small, almost lucky games. Uh, this was their best victory against New Orleans. There was little little luck or flags thrown in their favor, but I, I still just, I'm not sold on the Chiefs, especially with the Broncos winning three in a row. It would be a shocker, but the Broncos could overtake them this year. Uh, top five, I got the Vikings at number five still. I can't put them higher despite the undefeated record just because of how rough that game was. Uh, at the end, I feel like they should have put up more points. They allowed... Uh, the Jets to stick around, and they should have closed that one away, but it was still a good victory, so they're still in the top five. Good revenge game for Sam. Uh, number four, the Ravens. Uh, they've won two in a row now? Three three in a row now. They almost lost to Dallas, but they held on, and then they won two decisive games. I feel confident putting them back in the top five. Uh, we'll see how long they last, but for now, that offense is clicking. Number three, the Lions. They're on a bye this week. Just leave them where I left them before. Uh, above them, I'm going to put the Commanders at 2 and the Bears at number 1, just because I don't want to put the Commanders at the top spot two weeks in a row. And the Bears had the best game of the week against the uh, against the Panthers. So I'm sure it won't last, but at least for now, Bears get the edge over the Commanders. Uh, Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels both look amazing, though. Uh, so let's look at the weeks ahead, the games ahead this week. We got the 49ers and Seahawks. I have the Seahawks getting the win. Jaguars and Bears, I have the Jags. They always play better in London. Commanders and Ravens, I think it's going to be a shootout uh, with how both these offenses are playing. It would be shocking if the defenses do anything. But I say the Ravens get the win just given Lamar Jackson's incredible record against the NFC. But it would be shocking if Jaden Daniels becomes the second quarterback to, uh, to Dan Daniel Jones to beat Lamar in the NFC. Uh, but yeah, I got the Ravens.
Cardinals and Packers, I think, is going to be very close. Probably both right around 20, 21 points, but I'm going to pick the Cardinals in this one. I wouldn't be shocked at all if it's the Packers. I just, I, I like how uh, the Cardinals are playing right now. I think their their offense is a little better. The Packers' offense seemed kind of off against uh, their last couple opponents. Uh, Jordan Love, I think, maybe came back a little too soon, but we'll see how he does now. Maybe he's rested up. Texas and Patriots, I have the uh, the Texans. I think it'll be a blowout. Bucks and Saints will be a close one, but I got the Saints. Browns and FedEx, no, Browns and Eagles, I think will be a blowout for the Eagles. I think the Browns are just terrible right now, and I don't think the Eagles are particularly good, but if it's a blowout like I think, I, uh, I think the Eagles will be back on the radar if they can blow them out. Uh, Colts versus Titans. I'm actually going to go with the Titans. They're well-rested, coming off a bye, and I like their defense. And it's a home game for them. The Colts, I think that Joe Flacco has a tendency to throw too many interceptions. And I think with how that Titans defense is playing, I actually think the Titans will get an upset here. Uh, Chargers-Broncos. I'm going to go with the Chargers. I know the Broncos are high right now on their three-game win streak, but I do believe the Chargers are better. And I believe that the Chargers will show it in this game. They're well-rested, coming off a bye. I think they'll go to mile high confidently and get the win. Uh, Steelers and Raiders, I think it's going to be a good game for Justin Fields, getting some redemption here, um, beating that Raiders defense and getting the win. It'll be a very low-score defense-heavy game, though. Uh, Falcons and Panthers, I'm going to go with an upset. I'm going to pick the Panthers. They don't like how they got blown out against the Bears. They don't like being bottom of the power rankings. So they're going to get the upset win on the Falcons. The Falcons uh, just not going to play well after Loop beating the Saints and the Bucks. They're not going to be able to three-peat and beat all three division rivals. But hey, kudos to the Falcons if they can pull it off. Uh, Lions and Cowboys, I'm going to go with the Lions. They're well-rested and they're angry about uh, that game last year. So they're going to blow Dallas, blow Dallas out. Uh, Bengals and Giants, I'm going to pick the Bengals. I think the Giants... Are too high after that victory, and I'm just hoping Cincinnati can can beat them for Seattle. Uh, and the Bills and Jets last game, I think it's going to be an ugly blowout game. Sorry, Jets, but I don't think Sala was the problem, and I think the Bills are going to make it. Not even close.